Auburn University researchers are the first group in the world to conduct MRI brain scans on non-restrained dogs to see how their brains work when they smell odors. They lie fully awake and undergo the MRI scans at Auburn University's MRI Research Center. The information from the test can predict a dog's detection abilities prior to training. I think being able to do awake, unrestrained fMRI on the dogs has broader scientific implications. I mean, a lot of different questions can be asked which, which hitherto could not be answered because we couldn't really non-invasively image the dogs. So I think it has uh, broader scientific implications and as I said before, this opened up a new field. We have probably decades worth of research to do in this field. Approximately 40 dogs are in the test group. Auburn University's College of Veterinary Medicine developed the unique awake dog training system. During the MRI scanning, various odors are presented to the dog's nose. The researchers can determine a specific neural marker in the brain image to determine if the dog has the makings of a detector dog. We developed a training uh, procedure so that we could scan fully awake dogs. They're not restrained in any way. Uh, they get up on the scanner, they place their head in the correct position, and, and then they remain still while that scanning occurs. We're really the first ones to ever have dogs uh, scanned in this awake fashion. Auburn and IK9 are using a $1 million grant from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, to do the study. Current methods of finding and training suitable dogs are time consuming and costly for agencies around the globe. After the dog gets its initial scan, then we train that dog to be a detection dog. After approximately four to six weeks when the dog is a detection dog, uh, then we scan that dog again. At, at two other time points, we will again scan that dog. And along the way, we bring the dogs in for maintenance to make sure that they can uh, still perform the, that task. Researchers hope their findings from this two-year study will result in a test that can be used by agencies nationwide.